Right, today I'm going to show you Mogadero Eco Kyoho. It's a two hand grip um, in Iwama Aikido. They do the static uh, Kihon, which is two hand grip with a strong grip from the start. The grip is also uh, learned from holding the can or the jaw, but the can because you've got two hands together. So when you are into can no kamae, you're already gripping the can. When you cut, you grip more at the end. So there is a sensation of the grip from the center. You hold. You grip with a hand. You squeeze the muscles of your stomach. So the way we do Mogatirohi Kokiho is from a strong grip. So firstly, we stand in strong kamai, good hamni, identical to holding the can. We offer our hand, the elbow pointing upward. The idea of it is that when you grip, the person gripping has got the control of the elbow. So, you want to punch, push up. You want to kick, push down. In itself, it is a very good grip because you can get the feeling that he won't be able to punch you or kick you. In Aikido, we should really start with the Kihon, the form of strong attack. Now, we say strong attack, but if Uke is holding too firm until he can't move, then Uke must release the grip a little bit to allow Tori to exercise. It's a little bit like going to the gym, you take heavier weights, but you go at your own pace, at your own level. You're not going to get to do the heavy weights to begin with. So, again, as you do it more and more, you learn to give up the physical strength. Because when you're using the physical strength, it would work. For example, I'm quite strong. It would work with anybody who would be less strong than I am until somebody far stronger would feel the strength, could counter it and push back. So I must give up my physical strength, shoulders, tension, all of this loose. You offer your hand, he holds. So the feeling really is allow the arm to be in that position. Now, the next stage is to allow our body. So your right foot will go to the side, down. The thinking here is to bring the elbow down and then rotate in that platform. There. You still hold a strong hand knee. The elbow is down. Common mistake is when you are coming to this stage, if people are holding with the elbow up. When you're holding with the elbow up, You've got a disconnection elbow and the body. It's almost the arms are working alone to raise the hand up. It's not really thinking of raising the hand up, it's more of twisting your hips. So you should get this kind of feeling. Into Hamni and push from the front foot all the way the hips to the back of your shoulder, the back of your shoulder, that's the feeling. Then you've got this kind of cocky, strong cocky, but you keep looking there, you rotate your hip and down. This is the feeling. You don't actually think of pulling your partner, if you're thinking of pulling your partner, 
you get this kind of sense when you're going to look at the pack. It's one against multiple attackers. So Moetero y Kokyoho has got the same element with Tano Henko. Now your elbow, hip, turn. Now, what's out here, there's more you could turn in than my partner. Ah, I got a feel, rotating my hips, rotating my hips, and down, down, hips down. It's a settling of the hips that makes the partner go off balance. So a strong rotation is important. Elbow up, down, this feeling. With rotation, the hip still triangular, not square. Square is very hard because the common mistake is to put the hands together here and then you just want to get in and then you bring your you lean your back forward because you do that you've lost that center all the weight now is on the arm it's very hard to lift when the grip is strong but if the rotation of the center is here not there but here then it's still possible when you have the body into a triangular shape. The other hand is at the front. If not here, it's at the front. If you see that movement there, now you push your leg all the way up. You put a cocky to the back of your shoulder. So it's cocky on the hands, but a cocky on the back of the shoulder. There. You get this feeling, and then you will take your hips. It's a lovely sensation. It really is. Cock you. Twist. This feeling. Even though it's only one hand gripping, you must apply the cock you onto the other hand. Because when you apply the cock you onto the other hand, you get a feel half of my body is working, the other half is also coordinating. This is important. Here, elbow down, this feeling. Sensation of the cock you foremost extremely important. What you don't want to do is you rotate to that platform and then here lift. It's hard. Posture is power. If you keep your posture straight you retain a good control, good power. So you lift from the ground all the way to the back of the shoulders. Oh, that's the feeling. So you have a sense of a connection and down, twist. There's a cocky here, strong feeling. Zanshin is extremely important. Don't omit the sanction. So from here, cock you, cock you, down. The other side, cock you. Common mistake is also to bring that hand down before you raise it up. When you do that, okay, it gets very strong and puts the weight down and you can't. But if you keep that hand here and you emphasize elbow more and here, the back of the shoulders and angling from your front foot, pushing back. 
you have this sense of connection from the center. It's always from the center. So when we do the can, this feeling is the same as this. If you do this can square, square, it's 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 not the same. It's got to be at an angle. It's got to be at an angle. Try and get a shape. When you do that, you can overcome stronger partners. from the center, angling, positioning your body in line with your footwork. It's important because it's very easy to get it out of a line. Something like this, the foot slightly up, and we're thinking this or this the buttock out. No. The feeling is back straight. Back straight. Back straight. Settling down. So right there. This has been a bit of a useful video, giving you some good instructions how to do a better Moetere Dohi Kokyo. Thank you for watching.